Well, hello there. Welcome to another gaming stream. I did this a while back a few times. Um, it's, it's been a while, so that's your first heads up. Second of all, this is technically part two of an amazing, fun stream from Perry. Uh, if you missed it, I'm going to put a link to it down in the description. Um, we're playing the same game. Um, he had some technical difficulties. It was not his fault, but but it was a lot of fun. And yeah, so y'all make sure to check out his part one to this. Um, but yeah, let's let's get going. How, first of all, how y'all doing? First of all, can you hear me? Are we good? Um, I think we should be good. Um, I'm using a few different settings different than normal, hopefully to keep the stream up and running. Um, yes, <laughs> yes, Brian, second half of the double header. Um, of course, um, we are repping some merch here. Uh, whiskey for the win, because I'm going to definitely win, right? Right? We'll see. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, how's everyone doing? Um, did y'all have fun on Perry's stream? I wanted to, so I did have a topic planned for today, and the way I'm going to do it is a little differently than Perry was going to do it, um, but I, I'm going to be reviewing on the stream, I'm going to be reviewing Jim Beam Single Barrel as level one easy, Baker's Single Barrel, level two, and then, of course, the brand new Booker's 2020 uh, Granny's Batch. Well, brand new to California because it took forever to get out here. So as we progress through the game or don't progress through the game, um, we're going to be reviewing these. But in the spirit of celebrating Perry's stream, um, I did pour one of my Dusties. I'm going to do a full review on this on a different, um, a, a separate video. This is a 1963 Jim Beam, um, 175 months old, which means it was distilled, I believe, in 1948. Um, and it's 86 proof. So again, I'm going to do a full review on this later. I poured a little bit, a little bit much for just a taste of it, but cheers you guys. I'm curious to hear what you guys are drinking tonight. Um, and are you guys ready to watch me probably suck, but hopefully not. <laughs> um, I have the same controller that Perry has, so hopefully I don't have some of the technical difficulties. Um, I did, I did like a test run after watching his. I'm like, oh God, I need to make sure it doesn't happen. But fortunately it doesn't seem to be happening. I don't know if it was just software or what. Um, I do have a way to do like the save state. So I might do that just to prevent issues. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Tim. It is a parry core, but hey, this one's to parry. So cheers, parry. Um, that was a lot of fun. So what, so yeah, so Jim Beam is the theme tonight. Um, Y'all don't have to drink Jim Beam, but if you want to drink Jim Beam, please do. Uh, Brian says he wants the 2020 one so bad, you need to go searching for it. I'm drinking a Russell's Camp Nelson pick. Always a solid choice. So, so this beam, honestly, when I, I got it alongside another dusty bottle, um, of Ezra Brooks, and I do think I like the Ezra Brooks better, um, but I haven't tried it on its own yet. So this is the first time I had tonight. I tried to limit myself. I, I was like, I really want to drink earlier, but I'm like, no, I might get a little, a little crazy tonight. So... <laughs> yeah, so Perry, I, I had yours to like kind of practice for mine. So <laughs> we'll do it again though, sometime soon. Um, we'll find a way that we can both like have our screens up and stuff. I know, I know there's a way. We just neither of us really had time to really look into it because it's kind of like a not a last minute thing. But we, I've been busy. I'm sure you have too. So yeah, on the nose, it doesn't smell anything like a Jim Beam. It almost I had an, a dusty wild turkey that I think smelled like this. It's very candy, um, not like candy sweet, but like a. I guess it, it, it's like a caramel. I think the caramel jumps out more than like the nuttiness that I would get on Jim Beam or the, even the oak. Cause this is, I mean, it's almost 14 years old. Um, so I'm surprised there's not as much oak on it, but let's go ahead and taste it real quick. So, oh, that's good though. Mm. You know, I, I didn't think that I liked it as much, but trying it right now. That's really, really good. It's really solid. I mean, it doesn't drink like a 14-year-old Jim Beam, like a Knob Creek, but it's really, really easy drinker, I would say. I mean, you got to think the times, like no one wanted Barrel Proof Whiskey by then, I don't think. I don't know. Um, so it's very light, but it's also like really, really nice flavor. I mean, I think you could give this to even a non-whiskey drinker and they'd enjoy it. Good morning, Chris and Lil in the house. First of all, shout outs to everyone. Steven, good to see you. Hopefully I get past level one, world one, level two. I know that's your favorite. <laughs> um, Adam Terry, Juan, what's up, you guys? Good to see you. Um, uh, I hate to dump this dusty, so. You know what? I'll start out with this. Let's make sure we don't have any technical issues first. Um, I do want to tease up two things. Um, first thing I'm going to tease up is tomorrow night, I'm going to be going live with the Whiskey Dick on his channel. I think um, he, he's been wanting to do something with me for a while, so we were messaging. Um, I think he's going to have a few other people on, too. 
Um, I think it was like a just like a last minute kind of stream idea. So check out his channel. Look out for that. Not sure what we're doing yet. Like I'm just I'm literally just on the email train. I don't I don't know what's going down. But um, very very kind of Bill to offer me um, a chance to come on and just talk and hang out. Um, I haven't been on his channels yet. I've been on the Whiskey Crusaders and some streams with I Whiskey She Wines. <laughs> Those get a little crazy. Some of y'all may have seen. Um, oh wow, Trev Wilson just poured his Knob Creek 15 year pick. Oh, I love those older Knob Creeks. And that's what's surprising about this. This is 14 years. doesn't taste a thing like the 15-year picks. Super balanced. Not much oak, which is weird. You would think it'd be way more oakier. But yeah, so we'll, we'll sip on this for a little bit, make sure we're good to go. The second thing I was going to tee up is next week, one week from today, is my birthday. And of course, I can't really do anything. <laughs> Stuck here. So it's a Thursday night. Um, why not go live and have a birthday party with you guys? So I'm still working out the details. Um, oh, Bill's stream. I think it's actually at 9 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Check his channel. He'll put up a little, um, reminder. Um, yeah, so tune in for that. Um, Jack Daniels Rye for funsies. I, I reviewed that, um, last week. I did a blind flight with that. Uh, it was a store pick. Um, yeah, so birthday party next week. Gonna be a ton of fun. I'm gonna have some planned stuff. Um, I'll throw up the phone number now in case anyone's interested in calling and leaving me a voicemail. I'm going to listen to some messages. I might even do like a stream yard where I like invite people on to come say hi and hang out. So we're going to, there's going to be a lot of drinking. It's going to be a high drinking stream. So <laughs> look forward to that. Um, if you want to leave me a message, you can just call that. It's my Google voice number. Don't worry. I'm not like putting my real phone number out there. Um, leave me a message or you can call in on the stream, but we're going to do some special things with some super chats. I'm going to be chugging some things. Speaking of which, I want to start a new thing on my channel. I, by the way, I appreciate so much when you guys send super chats. Like, it, it does help a ton when I'm buying this much whiskey. I'm going to start a new thing where I'm going to do... Oh, not that one. No, no, I would never. I'm going to drink, especially when I'm doing gaming streams. My birthday might be a little different, but when I do a gaming stream, I'm going to chug something a little weird when I get super chats. Now, this one, I don't know if you saw my review of it, but this is a molecular spirit whiskey. It's unaged, and it's made up of the molecules that just watch my review it's it, it, it's something i'll just say so in honor of any super chat that come through tonight i'm gonna take a little swig i meant to get a shot glass of this i'm just gonna have to use just drink from the bottle Oop, i just almost pause my game <laughs> um yeah it, it is gross i'll say that um so yeah that'll be there i meant to get a shot glass i wish i would have brought it okay birthday party there will be shot glasses and hopefully you guys are drinking too for that so let's go ahead and see how we get going with this game let's make sure okay let's see everything looks good here um don i got this for half price it literally was half price so i, I couldn't say no with that it was 20 bucks so <laughs> so let's see if this works let me know how the audio is if it's too loud i'll happily turn it down or if you can't hear it i'll turn it up um but i got my controller so let's gonna get going lil with the first super chat before we get started oh this is gonna be a fun night <laughs> y'all should see my birthday party oh okay brian uh, you guys, you guys are mean, but hey, I th I think it's fun. Um, and y'all know I'm not like go. I'm not gonna be like okay. I'm gonna be pretty wasted, but not that wasted. So, cheers to Lil first. First sip goes to Lil. Oh god, this is so gross. This spout isn't really made for drinking out of. Okay, so since Brian's at ten, let's let's go a little bit bigger for that. Here we go. Mm. Oh God, I really need a napkin. That's awful. It's so in my review, I said it was like strawberry shortcake. <laughs> it is, um, <laughs> Don, it's straight up, you know, those like blueberry muffins, those like little prepackaged ones, like they're called like little bites or something. It tastes like those. I don't know why it's supposed to taste like whiskey. It is 43% alcohol. So <laughs> it's not my birthday yet, Chris. Next week, I was teasing that up. Um, I'm going to be, my super chat chug is going to be a little different for next week's stream. So it'll be something a little bit more enjoyable. <laughs> okay, so let's go and get started. Let's see how we do with this game. Again, we could run into some technical issues. Okay, Patrick, let me get let me get going in this game and I'm going to keep track of how many super chats I get if I get any. And it, again, you guys don't have to send super chats. I just thought it'd be fun and I like having something fun to do just like shots or whatever so we'll see <laughs> i may kill the idea after this stream like oh god that's a bad idea um uh, thank you patrick yeah i will get to that i'm gonna try to get through this first level first let's let's get going so oh i spilled whiskey on my controller great start <laughs> all right here we go 
Steven, I mixed it with um, lemonade once and it was actually not terrible. So there's that. <laughs> okay, so let me know if you guys can see and hear me okay. Okay, take me a minute to get used to the controls. Okay. I had to change up my controls too, by the way. Perry, I noticed he changed it up to make the run button what you expect a run button to be and the jump button be what you expect a jump button to be. So, there's that. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's crap, crap. Oh, God. Here we go. Here's a bad start. <laughs> um, Tammy, I would happily get you a sample of Glyph. Um, maybe for Vegas when we meet up. Um, I'm gonna get my phone out because it's really hot right now. I'm gonna turn our air on because I'm burning up. Maybe it's the lights, maybe it's the nervousness of this game, or maybe it's the glyph, who knows. But it is really hot, so I'm just gonna turn my thermostat down a bit. There we go. Okay, here we go. That's good, let's do this. Okay, so it's weird because I have two, I have my stream window and then I have my um, <laughs> gameplay window. And the stream window's a little lag, so it's like, it's hard not to look over at it. Oh, that's just tough, okay. I got this though. I need to hide that, honestly, because it's really distracting. Oh, and by the way, just a heads up, you guys, I swear a lot when I play games, especially Mario. So please, if you have small children in the room that don't like foul language, um, put in some headphones, because <laughs> it might get a little, might get a little out of hand here. Okay, come on, come on now. That can't be something I'm getting stuck at. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, now I will say, I did say this in Perry's stream. Um, this was not the game I grew up playing. I grew up playing Super Mario World. So um, that's the one where there's like Yoshi's Island and stuff. That was the game I grew up playing. So that's my little precursor to me not being good about this. <laughs> um, and I'm also, I, Perry, I also get your idea. Like it's so hard to keep up with the chat and like chat while you're doing this, um, but it's cool. I'll, I'll get to you guys. I'm gonna read everyone's message in just a minute. Oh wait, we beat it already. Okay, okay. World one of one, here we go. There we go, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, lemonade or Sprite? Oh yeah, y'all have like weird lemonade. Yeah, I don't understand, that's weird. L lemonade with lemon. Um, <laughs> uh, how hot is it in Cali? It's like, it's a bit about 80, 90 lately. Oh God, I'm so glad I have this fire flower thing. Oh, I was supposed to get it anyways. Um, man, I didn't even get a chance to take a break and drink some whiskey, hold on. Let's see, if I die, I'll, <laughs> I'll take a whiskey break. I think I'm gonna die, most likely. I do want to actually review these. Um, get used to this screen. <laughs> it's Steven's favorite level. I uh, see. Oh yes, I see it now. Wait, how do you? Um, do you have to break it down? You can't like. You can't like slide. I guess not. This is like the first. So yeah, Super Mario World was my jam growing up. Um, it just. I, I think the controls are a lot easier and. Especially playing with one arm, like I, <laughs> it was just easier because there's a lot of slipping and sliding going on in this game. Um, I wouldn't have known where that little secret passage thing was that Perry did, but now that I know where it is, if we get stuck, let's, let's, I see that one, eyes over here, I know, I know. Um, ugh, I just know Perry was stuck here for a while. Well, it's not that he was stuck, ah, okay. First death, okay, see, Perry, I think I made it a little further than you, first death. <laughs> um, cool, so let's pause for a second, um, and get us some whiskey, because I do want to review these whiskeys, so, although we've only been going for 15, 15 minutes, so... This is the finish of the 1963 Jim Beam. Yes, you guys know the rules. If I die, you drink. <laughs> um, okay, so I just said I would do a chug for um, Patrick. So, <laughs> thank you, Eric. Um, if you're curious, check out the replay because it may or may not be up. If I go real, if I'm really bad, I may not post. No, I'll post it. Okay, so this is to you, Patrick. Cheers. Thank you for the super chat. I have to be really gentle because it's like literally like really wide so it like spills all down my chest and shirt <laughs> so thank you patrick um yeah so let's move on i do want to start moving reviewing the jim beam single barrel um i hate to dump a dusty but you know we gotta we gotta keep the show show going so let me go back to boom okay um, so let's go ahead and review the Jim Beam single barrel. So now all the gaming people are like gone, like, ugh, whiskey. No. Um, I appreciate y'all sticking around. This is something different. Um, but 
It's something Perry and I have been talking about for a while. So uh, I tried to drink some to not spill it everywhere, and I still spilled it everywhere. <laughs> At least it was water. Okay, so the Jim Beam single barrel I have today is not the new bottle, the new 108 or 107. I think it's 108. I don't have that. I have not seen it in California. Um, this is the old bottle. However, I've never had one of these. So I thought, why not? It was on sale for 20 bucks. I know it's normally like 30 to 40, I think. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's like 30. So this is the 95 proof one. Um, not age stated. At least I don't believe. No, they don't give you any info. It's just a single barrel. No info on it at all. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and pour some of that. Um... And we'll work our way up. We'll work our way up to the bakers and the bookers. So, like I said, easy level. So let's do, let's do the gym beam. It's it's just gamer fluid to get me like, <laughs> get me going for this game, because it's gonna be a long, <laughs> it's not gonna be a long night. I'm gonna stick to the same stream level unless we're having a ton of fun. Then we might go on a little longer, but we'll see. Probably not. I'll probably just like end up losing over and over and over again. <laughs> So on the nose, it's, it's actually, it's pretty reminiscent of that old Jim Beam from the decanter. Um, yeah, I know, yeah. I got dressed for the occasion. <laughs> um, sponsored by Monster Energy. <laughs> yeah, so, so it is nutty. It's, it's, that's the, the one difference is it's not, the, the old one, the vintage one was not nutty, at least in the traditional sense of nutty. I'm still sweating. I think I'm just nervous. <laughs> um group hang, hang out after hey brandon maybe um i gotta make sure i'm good for the stream tomorrow <laughs> whiskey dick but maybe maybe I'm, I'm always down for a hangout yeah way more nutty still that sweet caramel note though that i got on the vintage one which is really interesting um like i said i never bought this product before most jim beam label products i don't um not that i don't like distillers cuts fantastic although i think most of them are pretty not 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 boring but kind of all the same note I think even the Bonded, which is my one of my favorites other than the Distiller's Cut, is still one note, nutty. This, though... Okay, spoiler, I did already taste a little bit of this. So. Man, that's good. I am so impressed. And I, I, don't, I don't know if anyone said the price point. Do you guys know the price point of the old um, Jim Beam Single Barrel? I know the bottle's changed a few times, but I'm pretty sure it's like 30-ish. So I got it for $10 off. Um... Distiller's Cut, Brian, yeah, that's that's my go-to. Um, and I can't find it anywhere. It's it's. I know people say it's still in Kentucky, but in, in California, I have I used to see it on the shelf, and I never see it anymore. Um, repeal Batch, I think it's okay. I think, honestly, I think Repeal Batch is overrated. I'm just being a little biased there. <laughs> I think it's it's a better version of Jim Beam White, maybe even better than Jim Beam Black, but I think, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it, it doesn't kick, well, first of all, it doesn't kick as much, obviously, because it's higher proof or lower proof than distiller's cut but i think distiller's cut does way more for me at the same maybe a little bit higher price point uh, Stephen, 30 to 40 yeah so getting for 20 it's still for 20 at my store i might stack up because this is really nice i mean it's low proof of course but no wait did i say it was 95 am i wrong no it's not low proof it's 95 what am i talking about <laughs> it's a decent proof it does smell like a knob creek it's not like an, a knob creek store pick in terms of like that deep oaky note like the older ones there's some oak there but it's not nearly as prominent as on the knob creeks yeah there's nothing wrong with that now knowing that it's like 30 to 40 dollars maybe there's some that are like a little i would prefer over it at that price point but if it ever goes on sale in your area for this price or 25 or below if you like jim beam products like if you like knob creeks i think this is more like a knob creek than jim beam yeah, so Juan, yeah, Juan got it for the same, Juan actually let me know about this deal, so thank you, Juan. Yeah, I think it's it's fantastic, I mean, for the price, it, it's it's really good, so you have to let me know what you think of it, so. All right, so we got our first pour here, let's continue with some Mario, shall we? All right, let's see how we do, <laughs> oh god, all right, oh gosh, I'm scared about the next level, the next level's the one that... My husband warned me. Oh, no. <laughs> he warned me about the next level, saying it's the hard level. When Perry started, he was like, oh, God, that's the hard level. Okay, so let's see. I got one life left, or I'm going to have to start all over again. Um, let me just do a little something, something. Um, what was this? Okay, so, Perry, I think that's what your issue was. They were save states that it kept trying to load. I just did one, and I'll show you what happens if 
if I lose, I'll load from it. And I think that's what your, your thing kept trying to do. Oh my god, I thought there was something in there. But you in weren't intentionally doing it. I think you had a button in your control. Oh no, okay, let's. I'll show you what it does. So they look. Oh no, I didn't die. That's pretty cool, huh? I should've did that when I had like full lives. So, a little bit of a cheat, yes, but I just, it was for demonstration purposes, you guys. I would never purposely cheat or go through any warp tunnels or anything. That would just be, oh wait, oh, oh I, almost, I almost did. Okay, get down, nope, fine. Okay, Ooh, we're good. <laughs> okay, there we go, we got through world one, level two. Now oh, the next one is what I'm scared of. <sighs> okay, we got through a level, let's drink some more gin theme. Tammy, what are you wetting at? <laughs> so let's see. Okay. Oh wait, no, I thought this was the underground one. Oh my gosh, I was watching my streaming screen. So like, no, okay. Not to pull a parry and make up excuses, but I was watching the wrong screen with some lags. So that might be why I died a few times. I don't know, maybe. Just kidding, parry. Oof, oof, okay. Oh crap, I didn't know they were gonna fall down. I thought they would like stay up there. In most games, they just like turn back around. Oh, what is this? Is this something good? Let's see. Is it worth it? <gasps> yes! Okay, here we go. Shoot! Darn it. Mm. I didn't... I didn't make a save state. <laughs> oh no! Okay, screw it. Oops. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm bad, I'm bad. But I, I, I understand Perry's frustration. So we're gonna... we're gonna do a little bit. I should have stayed, saved. I honestly need to save at the beginning of each level, just so I can go back to that if something goes wrong. <laughs> so. <laughs> it makes no difference, Perry. Nah, it's all good. It's all good, man. That single barrel, honestly, I'm going to have to pick up another bottle if I can get it for 20 bucks, because that's really, really good. So, okay, if I make it through this level this time, um, then we're going to move on to some bakers. How about that? save ourselves in case we screw up royally. Oh! There we go. Oh my god, I feel like I'm cheating so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. I honestly didn't know that's how that worked until Justin showed me. Okay, these guys are gonna fall. I know that. Why does that thing, like, move so quickly? It makes me nervous. Okay, I know you're supposed to like jump on his head to like get some momentum going, but I'm not that skilled, so I'm just gonna try to run and jump. Okay, there we go. Now I don't know if this is game where like these things can fall, like if you stay on them too long, so I get nervous around them all the time. Oh no. Oh crap. Okay, can I stay on this and just like go all the way to the end? Yeah, well, and it's it's really good. Alright, is this the end? I don't know. I'm gonna jump to see. It is! Oh, we did it! Oh my gosh, we're so good. <laughs> um, so since we beat this level, let's go ahead and pour some bakers. Now this is the, when I say new, it's, it's, oh no, sorry, that wasn't even the hard level. This is the hard level. So, let's take a breather for a second. First of all, save state. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the new labeled bakers. Um, it's dripping water because I said it in the water that I spilled earlier. Um, let me go back to my full screen so you guys can see. Here we go. So yeah, so this is the new label Bakers. It's seven years old, 107 proof, and single barrel. It didn't used to be single barrel. This particular release is... I don't know if you can see that. Oh, come on. Okay, you can't see it. It's eight years old and zero months. So exactly eight years old. Um, I know the first release was like eight years, six months. So I don't think this is the first release of the new bottle. I think this is the like the second or whatever. Um... Only stay for a minute, it's time to ice ice and relax. Um, oh, you mean the hangout. We used to get the 12 year old single barrel over here for a while, it's nice. Oh wow, 12 year old gem beam single barrel? That sounds really good, I need to, man. Too bad it's, <laughs> too bad it, it's not available because I would ask you to get me some. Um, oh, 12 year old craft, not single barrel, okay. I don't actually know. <laughs> um, Brian says, Baker's is good. I need to blind the old and new bottle sometime. Brian, the old bottle still sits on the shelves here and I need to do that. So I, I agree with that idea. I think that'd be really fun to do. Um, so yeah, let's pour some of this Bakers. I, I honestly, I don't have that much experience with Bakers. I often, I, I've made this argument before, but 
the old, not the single barrel, the old Bakers, I never really saw the point in buying it when you could get a Knob Creek or a Booker's. Knob Creek on the lower end, Booker's on the higher end. I just didn't see the point of paying almost the price of a Booker's for something that is a small batch, but it's like, you know, it, it wasn't like specially selected like Booker's is. So I always passed up on it. I did get a bottle of it and it wasn't as bad. I didn't think it was bad. It just wasn't as bad of a deal as I thought. However, with them moving to a single barrel with an age statement of over seven years sometimes, I think it has a better place. I think the flavor profile is different enough from Knob Creek that um, it kind of stands on its own, especially with the sexy bottle. I haven't had a chance to try the 13 year one though. That I, I need to get a sample of that. Um, Cause I know the 13 year one's supposed to be really special. I, I never I never saw it. Um, uh, Steven says he likes the old bottle more. Interesting, do you mean like the actual bottle itself, like the design, or do you mean the, um, like what was in it? <laughs> Um, Patrick says the eight year six month is great. That's the one that was, I think it was the first release. So I missed that one. It was at the distillery. I know I regret not buying it. I know. Doug Tempest is here. What's up, Doug? Good to see you. Um, we're moving on to our second review. This is the Baker's single barrel. <sighs> that nose, man. Okay. The bourbon in it. Thank you for, yeah, I need to, cause I, yeah, the old, I want to say the old bottle design was like bookers basically with like. Slightly more ugly than Booker's. <laughs> um, yeah, so the nose on that Baker's is more my territory. This is more a Knob Creek, even though I just said it's different from Knob Creek. On the nose, it's, it reminds me of a Knob Creek. There's there's a bit more cherry, though. It's almost like to the level of like a Stag Junior in terms of like the cherry note. Ooh, a refined repeal batch. That sounds really interesting, Patrick. Um, Doug says he likes the old small batch better, um, but I've only tried the single barrel so far. Gotcha. So let's go ahead and do a go ahead and do a tasting of this. So cheers to Bakers, which is do, do you guys see what I try to do with the name here? The Super Bean Bros, because they're all like brothers, like younger brother, older brother. I know it's dumb, but I thought it was cute. Okay. Mmm. So you know when I said Jim Beam Single Barrel was nice for the twenty dollar price, but paying thirty to forty for it, I don't. I think there'd be things that are better than it. Meat. The better middle, chi middle child. <laughs> this has way longer of a finish. Of course, it's higher proof. More of those oaky aged notes. Again, it's eight years. That one's probably closer to like four or five, I would guess. Um, yeah, really nice, refined, round palette. The, the oak kind of juts out a little bit. It's like a little, not too oaky, which you guys know I love oaky bourbons. But it's just, it, it spikes a little bit in a lot of good ways for me. I love that robust, rich, oaky um less sweet on the palate it's it's a lot it smells a lot sweeter than it is but that really nice oak leather note which i get a lot on bookers we, we'll see how it compares in a bit but yeah I'm, I'm a big fan of bakers so bakers is an uncle okay <laughs> yeah i mean this is a fantastic pour um i'm gonna actually pour a little bit more because we got 30 minutes of the stream to go and i don't want to be hitting the bookers too hard um by the way if you guys are new um or not new but if you're new to the chat tonight I'm doing a special thing with Super Chats. If you send me a Super Chat, you don't have to. No obligation. Um, I just wanted something fun to do. I will drink some of this Glyph Molecular Fake Spirit Whiskey. That is not my favorite. I have a review on one of my channel. Um, you can probably find it just probably in your little sidebar over there. I don't know. It's somewhere. <laughs> so it's an interesting one. But uh, Oh, it's a Freddy. It's gotcha. You were being literal. <laughs> I was being figuratively little. <laughs> so, yeah. So any Super Chats, I'm going to drink from this bottle. I gotta finish it somehow, and I'm not gonna just drink it to enjoy it, so. <laughs> oh, Perry, it's, 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 I honestly thought it was gonna taste more like whiskey, because I thought they were gonna fake it, like they were gonna try to imitate the flavor, which they supposedly did, but it's, it's like strawberry shortcake, blueberry muffin, and not like, you know, like when you're giving whiskey notes, like I just said, what I say about that? I said it was like, um, like candy, or I said one was like candy earlier. No, this is not just like a note, like, oh, it's kind of reminds me of this. No, this is like you just put a muffin in my mouth. Oh God, I'm gonna regret saying that. Anyways, moving on. Got some more. Got some more bakers here. Um, <laughs> let's move back to the Mario before I, I get a little too ratchet. There we go. So here we go. World one, scene four or whatever, level four. <laughs> let's see how we do. I have a save state just in case I screw it up. Wait, why is? Oh, okay, I guess that's not a real button. Oh crap. Ah! Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, sorry, my language. <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. Again. 
Sorry for the small children in the room, although honestly I don't think small children should be watching whiskey reviews anyways. I don't know, just my opinion, but... <laughs> I know people can do speedruns here and I am not that person. Uh, this is one we're battling, not Bowser, but, or I think it's called Koopa, right? Or something, King Koopa. I don't know. How do you kill him? Do you jump on his head? I don't remember. Do you jump on his head? Oh, nope, you don't jump on his head. Wait, what do you, oh, oh my god, I'm so dumb. Oh my god, y'all, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. You're supposed to just go to the, go to the, um, the axe, aren't you? <laughs> I thought I had to kill him. I'm so used to the other, I'm so used to Super Mario World where you have to jump on his head. <laughs> oh, gosh. Todd Koopa. Oh, no, Todd's not here. That'd be funny. That'd be really funny. Um, uh, yeah, Brian would smash the bookers. Oh, trust me, I want to. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> the difference between our language and our streams is awesome. Yeah, Perry, I, I had to give a warning, because sometimes I get... You should have seen... I used to stream on Twitch, like I legit did, for a while. Um, ah, son of a gosh darn mushroom. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get that mushroom. I'm gonna get it. Here I go. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Shoot! Freaking... Mm. Okay, now I'm thinking about my language. <laughs> Okay, let's do this again. I'm not gonna worry about the freaking mushroom. Screw it. I don't give a crap. I made it before without the mushroom. I can do it again. Okay, here we go. I can speed run. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, here we go. I know y'all are chatting. I'll, I'll check it in a sec. I'm gonna see if I can actually beat it this time. Crap. Oh, freaking heck! <laughs> They're gonna start calling me Sam. Oh, God. I'm not. Okay, yeah. When I'm gaming, I'm Sam on a good day. Me gaming is Sam on a good day. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. Like we're legit gonna do this. Y'all pump me up. Get me excited. Drink some pours. <sighs> okay, even if I swear in a different language, that doesn't that doesn't make it any better, so I'll stop that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, we got this. We got this. Clifton, you totally got this, dude. Okay, okay, we got it. <laughs> Parental guys, hey, it asked me when I started streaming, do you, do you, is this for children? No, <laughs> not in any way. Oh, great, the princess is another castle. Okay, so I beat a world. That calls for more bakers. Okay, first pause. Oh, wait, let's do a save state. I almost messed up. I almost pulled a parry. I almost hit return to save state versus save a new one. I literally almost went back like three levels. Oh my gosh. Um, Perry says he's gonna get real drunk tonight. Hey, right there with you. <laughs> Sounds like we do need to do a hangout after this. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Holy crap, Perry, you're right! <laughs> Wait, no, actually, it doesn't matter, because look. There we go. <laughs> I didn't get to enjoy my bookers, man! I said bookers, I meant bakers. I haven't got the bookers yet. <laughs> I, maybe I shouldn't even pour the bookers at this point. <laughs> The way this game is going. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Why? Why are all these? Are there like treasures in here? Like, why should I be hitting all of these? I really don't care about coins, honestly. Yeah, I can get like a one up or whatever, but. Oh, come on. Oh shoot! Is that my last life? Yeah. No. Where does it actually? Does it start me over here? Because if it starts me over here, that's fine. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Rock Gut Reviews. Check out his channel. Um, I was on a stream with him the other night, I think. <laughs> From what I remember. It was a Sam stream. So, oh no, oh no, it legit- um, screw that. Nope, we are not starting all the way over. Not at this point. I almost had to enter that <laughs> World 1 Level 2 again. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go for it. <gasps> oh, was not expecting that. Although I think I saw Perry do that. So maybe I was expecting it. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna drink the bookers. Don't worry, I'll drink it. I'm just... Oh shoot, okay, do I stay on this? What do I do? Do I... Am I supposed to stay on it? I guess so. Holy crap, you don't move? There's no physics in this game. What the heck? I'm just gonna stay on it. Can I just stay on it? Like, can I just ride it? Oh, okay, I guess we're done. Wait, did I, did I die? Oh, okay. What the hell? Wait, I thought it was like a shortcut. That wasn't even a shortcut. It was just like a... Wait, maybe it was a shortcut. Well, if I could do the trampoline right. What the hell? How do you do this? 
Oh, oh okay. Oops. Well, I beat it. <laughs> um, so I am not... I'm about to move to the bookers. Um, 80s kids are yelling at the screen. Um, so I actually am going to be drinking the bookers 2020-01. I just got this bottle. Um, let me finish up some bakers, though. Let me... So we have like 25 minutes. I do want to get to the bookers. So let me drink some bakers. First of all, how am I doing? How am I doing compared to Perry? Kidding. Perry. <laughs> no, but thank you guys for sticking around. I know this is a bit different, but I honestly have been contemplating doing a little bit more of this. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but my little name up there, Bourbon Bites. I'm trying to think of a channel name. Like, I, I want, like, a presence. I don't want to just be Clifton McDaniel. I want, like, a catchy channel name, and that's the one that I came up with, and I think it's kind of cool. It doesn't have to, I don't have to game all the time. Honestly, I could even think of it like bite-sized bourbon reviews. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Does it, is it weird? I don't know. <laughs> it's just an idea I had. I just really, I feel like I need a persona in the bourbon streaming world. Um, other than just my name. Cause everyone is like, you know, this is my bourbon podcast or I whiskey, she wines or the whiskey dick. Everyone has a persona. So, oh, a drunk Twitch. Perry, there's, there's, there's some ideas there because I, I, I did it a couple times on Twitch. Um, there's a whole community for drinks on Twitch. Like, it's like Twitch creative, technically. But the only people there that stream are people that make cocktails, and they just do really short streams. So, well, this was, this has been a while. I think, um, the How to Drink guy streams there. But I think it'd be really cool if you and I got something going with Twitch and did a stream maybe weekly or, you know, whatever, where we paired whiskeys with, with, um, gaming. I mean, one of these that I did before, I, first of all, I'm supposed to drink. I did a banana themed one so like i get banana notes like old forester and jack daniels and i played donkey kong country so i think something like that would be fun okay so doug timmis says i like bourbon bites rock gut says it's cute um tammy kind of likes it it's okay <laughs> but steven it's not bad okay <laughs> this is my bourbon gaming channel yes joseph i am still playing but um it's okay though we're drinking too we're, we're taking a drink break so don't leave, Joseph. I know you keep leaving when we're doing gaming, but I'm, I'm reviewing things too. West Hollywood Port. Oh, yeah. Things I. So I feel weird being like West Hollywood or like Left Coast or whatever. Because I'm from South Carolina, I, I feel weird. I I don't identify with California. I mean, technically, but I don't know. I'm, I'm still like a South Coast, South Coast, South Carolina guy. So I, I, I like the idea, but it's like I'm not really from West Hollywood. So yeah, Perry, let's let's chat in the future. We're, we're going to make this happen. So Trev Wilson, you're an avid Twitch viewer. Trev, what are you not a avid viewer of? Let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, you're on everyone's streams. You must like, you must like. I mean, you're, you're killing it. You're like everyone knows who you are. That's cool though. Um. Okay, Tammy's like with enthusiasm. Okay, but but Stevens was still a not bad. Um. Twenty seventeen oh four. Sip a while. Oh, I wish I had that one. I think actually Brandon, if he's still in the chat, I think he gave me a sample of that. I could be wrong. Um. It was a while back ago. Um, just finished the new Baker single barrel, decide what to drink next. Yeah, Joseph, um, that's what I just reviewed. That's what I've been drinking. Um, I have the eight year, zero month one. So it's not the six month one. Southern gentleman with Western flair. I like it, Tammy. Um, yeah, so this is the Baker's. I'm going to finish it up and then we're going to move on to Booker's for our final pour. Okay. <laughs> I said before I choked on water laughing at Perry, laughing with Perry. Let's get that straight. Laughing with Perry. Um, so, I almost choked again, so. You have the 8-6, Joseph. Yeah, I passed up on that the distillery, and I really regret not buying it. I couldn't waste Baker's. It's really good. So, let me rinse my glass. We'll move on to reviewing the new-to-me Booker's 2020-01 Granny's Batch. This has been around for a while. I don't know why... It and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A120 took forever to get here to California. I think they had trouble getting anywhere. What about, did you guys get Booker's? We got Booker's about, I would say almost a month ago, a little less than a month ago. Um, Elijah Craig just showed up last week. Like it legit has not been anywhere. Um, so how are they for you guys? Um, just ask Lil what her TV show that a friend in DC want to do. Oh gosh, Lil, do I want to know what's the TV show? I laugh with the people that laugh at Barry. <laughs> we still haven't um, got it. Oh really? Ah, oh, yeah, we just got it. Um, 
Yeah, so let's go ahead and pour some bookers because we're getting to like the little... Perry so far made it further than me. I think he made it to like what? World 2, level 3? I think he made it. Um, Steven, I asked... Oh, I said like, and you said like, it's okay. <laughs> Whatever you said about my champ, the bourbon by its name, you were like, uh, oh, it's, it's fine. I forgot what she said exactly, but... <laughs> And I said Tammy said something similar, but she's like, oh, no, I meant it like I was excited. I'm like, oh, you did, but Stephen didn't. <laughs> Booker's and Larceny Barrel Proof just showed up last weekend. We've had Larceny Barrel Proof for, again, about a month since Booker's showed up. So maybe they're, that's weird that they're together. They're, like, completely unrelated. Um, Patrick only saw Elijah Craig Barrel Proof on base. Yeah, you got to keep an eye out. It, it, honestly, the only reason I find it is because I, my store has a website that gets updated when they get their new stock. So that's the only reason I know about it, but... Okay, oh, that's that's a baby pour. We, we're wrapping up tonight. We need a Perry pour of Booker's. We haven't seen the A120 for Larceny and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but have not. Oh, so you've seen A120 for Larceny and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but not Booker's. Oh, that's so weird. That's like backwards. So we had the Larceny and the Booker's, but not the Elijah Craig. I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Oh, okay, Steven, thank you for the clarification. So this one is 63.2% alcohol. Age is six years, four months, and 21 days. Of course, that's the age of the youngest one in here, so. I, I often have to remind myself of that, because, like, not all bookers is the same age. It's, it's, it could be a mix, it, unless I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think bookers can be a mix. They just have to list the youngest one on the bottle. Oh, wow, this one's so toffee. Like, t like straight up toffee. And toffee's not a note that I get often. Like, y'all don't hear me say that word a lot. It's like a really thin toffee, like, like almost like peanut brittle and toffee on the nose. I didn't get this last time I tried. I honestly had a little sample poured the other night. Oh, that's so peanut brittle and like like a toffee layer on top of peanut brittle. Um, <laughs> there's, the, there's the choke that tried to come out earlier. <laughs> Chris says he needs to find a Commodore 64 emulator and a floppy drive. Oh, that'd be so cool. I, I used to play... Um, <laughs> Sorry. I had one of those old Mac computers where you had the huge disks, um, and I had an Oregon Trail, and then I played some other games. I think it was like Karma San Diego or something. I love that. I need to find some emulators of that. That'd be really fun. Um, Tammy, just because of her name for the new Booker's Batch. Uh, oh, gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha, Lil. Um, oh, okay, so Doug says it used to be that way. Lately, they've been the same barrel date, but different warehouses and floors. Oh, okay. That's good to know, Doug. I honestly thought they would, it was just like a blend, but you're right. They could have just gone to different places, and they were meant to be a Booker's barrel. That's interesting. So let me go ahead and give a quick taste of this, and then we'll move on with Mario. It's still that peanut brittle. Not as sweet. The sweet toffee is more on the nose. Yeah, like really dry roasted peanuts. I think actually that was a note someone gave me. You know like those baseball peanuts you get? Like in the, they're like in the shell, they're salted, they're roasted. That note is prominent on the palate. Smells more like a peanut brittle, tastes more like a roasted peanut. I am a big fan of this. I like it better than... Uh. So I was really flip-flop with um, batches three and four last year. I thought I liked Country Ham better, but when I did it blind, I liked Beaten Biscuits better. But they were very, very similar, very, very close. This one, though, is different, and I like different. Um, so, with that being said, it, it's not your traditional Booker's, but I think it's really good. So, yeah. So, makes me miss baseball. Well, I never, honestly, I did go to baseball games when I was younger, because when we were in Boy Scouts, we were near a baseball um arena actually go my entire life growing up i've been near baseball when i was a kid in boy scouts there was one near us in near charlotte when i was in college we literally were right beside the river dog stadium now dodgers dodgers is baseball right oh god delete that dodger stadium is right there <laughs> right there yeah i'm not a sports guy I'm, i never have been no one in my family has been into sports so i it never caught on like i had friends that were into it but most of my friends were into nascar so is that a sport hmm Oh, I did, I did actually, well, okay, so hockey, by hockey, you mean like ice hockey? Because I did watch ice hockey a lot as a kid. Um, again, 
in Boy Scouts, we went a lot to go to ice hockey games. Yeah, it's totally different in a good way. Almost not like a Booker's. Yeah, I agree. This is... I don't even know what to compare it to. It's not like any... Like, not... I, don't know, I was going to say chain bourbon. Any, like, um, series of bourbon, like Booker's or Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's very, very different. I mean, I don't even know... It's got the nuttiness, because Jim Beam's always nutty, but, like, it's a different kind of nuttiness, and I really, really like it. Okay, ice hockey. I should have assume, assumed you're in New York. Just kidding. Do y'all have any season other than winter? <laughs> Again, I'm kidding. I love New York. So let's get back to the game. Let's let's see how much we can go. Totally a sport. Okay, Lil says. Lil, do you consider derby a sport? Oh, I don't want to offend some... Oh, it's a water level. Oh, gosh. Is it derby a sport? Perry, did you even make it to this? I don't remember you doing a water level. I guess derby would be a sport. It's, more, it's like similar vein to NASCAR. They're both kind of like... They're sports, but they're like kind of like more about the betting, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't talk. I know jack crap about sports. I'm gonna see y'all dissing the hell out of me in the chat in a minute, but oh shoot! Holy crap! Did y'all see how good that was? That was a real good move. Where are the power ups in here? There's not any blocks or anything to hit. Oh crap! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we got this. Gosh, the water levels are so difficult on here. You like drop like a bomb. Do I really? Is it worth it? Ah, screw it. Yeah, it's worth it. Not that I even know why. I, I guess I can get an extra life. I'm low on life. I'm on the very. I'm on my very last life. Oh, I forgot to do a save state. Holy crap! Hold on. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Almost did the wrong one where I like went back. Okay. Here we go. Whew, We did that. Oh, okay. That was easier than I thought. That actually wasn't bad. Okay, let's see what y'all are saying. <laughs> um, which boogers is it? Yeah, so I don't know if... I don't think 02 is out yet, but Steven, this is the 2020-01, the Granny's Batch. I just got it here in California. It's not showing up. Um, derby, like like the Kentucky Derby. Like the horse racing thing. I get, Isn't that Derby? Oh, gosh, I'm about to embarrass myself. I know, what the hell? Why are the fish still here? I'm, I told you guys, I didn't grow up playing this game, so this is weird to me. This is not Super Mario World. Are they chasing me? Should I be scared? Uh, this is not what I'm expecting. Okay. <gasps> Shoot. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, crap, that fish is there. Ah, fuck. I'm mean, sorry. Crap. No, no, no game over. We got this. This state, save state thing is actually working out really well. I don't have to keep starting over. Okay, someone said impressive. Oh, well, yeah. That wasn't, that wasn't impressive. Oh, that was one. <laughs> um... What did Perry say? Mine too, or soulmates? Your your what? Oh, favorite sport. Okay. Um, Perry needs a hug. <laughs> Perry, you you need something after <laughs> whatever you. No, I'm just kidding. I just thought it was funny. I'd send a message about you being smoking something. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I definitely did it. Although I feel like that would make video games really fun. My husband suggested we um. We've been playing a lot of Monopoly on the Switch. He suggested we like get high and play Monopoly. <laughs> Um, ah, oh, crap. I need to sa do a safe seat. I'm in California, though. It's legal here, so... <laughs> Perry would never. Uh, yeah. No, I, I I, honestly, I just don't like getting high, so, like, I totally would. I think it'd be really fun to be high on a stream. Before playing video games, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just... I, I've told y'all before, like, we like we have edibles, like, in our cabinet, but, like, I'm, Justin likes them more than me. I, I would rather be drunk, y'all, like, honestly. Okay, as Perry mentioned, it is currently counting down, so I'm gonna <laughs> get going. Ah, oh, this damn fish! Okay, we got this, we got this. Oh, crap. I'm not even gonna worry about the freaking mushroom. Oh, I want the mushroom so bad, though. I want it, 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 I want it. Okay, I got it, I got it. I got it, okay, here we go. Oh, frickin' heck. Oh, we're gonna get through this level. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I'm not gonna worry about the damn mushroom. That's what's messing me up. Ah, crap. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> I'm watching my language, y'all. I'm trying. Okay, here we go. Is this the end? Okay. The 
cars and beds on my team. Le I would be where it legal in. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It's just not my thing. Maybe I just haven't gotten into it that much. It's just I never really did it growing up. Not that you should do it growing up, but I never really, I never really was into it. Even when I, like, got it with friends and stuff. I don't know. It's just, oh, shoot. Oh, shooty, shoot. Shoot. Dang. Crap, I didn't save again. <sighs> I really don't want to start over. I'm sorry. I just, I can't start over. We're so close to... We already beat Perry, though, basically. Let's be honest. Did Perry really make it this far? Yes, he was on World 5, but did he really? <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, we'll do this. We'll beat this level, and then we'll see where we're at. I do want to get more into this book or something. Oh, crap! I already have. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm trying. I'm pretending I'm like, I don't know, babysitting. I don't, I've never even babysat. I don't know why I'm saying babysitting. Holy crap, where did that one come from? That one, mm. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got this. We got this. Dude, I'm literally tell I'm pep talking myself because I can't read the chat. And I imagine y'all aren't pe pepping me up. Y'all are drinking when I'm dying. Okay, okay. Let's beat this level again, and then we're gonna probably wrap up. Maybe a hangout. I don't know. We'll see. This is tough. The way they... Okay, so the, I don't know if y'all can tell, but the way they move, they, like, move with you? Holy crap, I just killed it? I can jump on their heads? Are you kidding me? I could have been jumping on their heads the whole time. <laughs> Frickity heck. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna beat it. Okay, we're gonna beat it. Like, no doubt in my mind we're gonna beat it. I should just jump on their heads since I learned I can do that. Okay, we got this. We got this. It's this part that messes me up! I can't do it! Okay, let's give it, let's give it two more tries. Two more tries, and if I can't do it, we're done. <laughs> Sorry for not reading the chat, I just want to get through this. I really want to get through this. Hope y'all are enjoying yourself. <laughs> Watching me frickety fricks and frackety fracks. God, my controller's so sweaty right now. Like, <laughs> I literally feel my fingers sliding across it. <sighs> I get angry, y'all, I swear. Perry gets giggly, I get angry. <laughs> I just, I can't... Mario makes me so angry, but I love it so much. I Have y'all played the new Mario Maker? Um, so we played it on Wii U, um, but we've also played the new one on Switch. And it's so much fun. Like, the levels there are so challenging. But it's it's just a real, real good fun time. Okay, there we go. We beat it. Okay, oh, well. I'm gonna crack at some point. Ooh, oh, I'm, I'm there. My, my blood pressure is rising. I need a bourbon to bring it down. I don't... Does that, does that bring it down? No. Okay. New save state. I do want to beat this level. I do want to beat this level because this is the one that I got stuck on. Let's do this. <laughs> I know, Faria. <laughs> we all witnessed. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's do this. I should be speedrunning. I'm just too scared. I'm, I'm just too nervous. I'm like a nervous wreck. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no, Tammy! Tammy gave me a chug! Okay, Tammy, I'll get to it in a second. Let's do this. Let's beat... Oh, wait, I'm at Bowser again. Holy crap. Oh, wait, can I just stay up there? Shoot! Nuggets! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna beat Bowser. I don't know if his name is Bowser, but I'm gonna call him Bowser because I don't give a crap. Tammy's trying to get me to <laughs> finish off the night with a chug. I'm here for it. Brian got me started tonight. Tammy's finishing me off. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Terry, don't use my language against me. <laughs> You're gonna quote that next time we talk. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, that's gonna be my catchphrase. <laughs> it's like sweet niblet. Sweet niblets, but like shoot nuggets. Okay, we're gonna beat this up. We're gonna beat Bowser's head, and we're gonna like... <laughs> I know, Tammy, I'm sorry. I, you, 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 I didn't mean to say it like that, but... Okay. I didn't get my, um... I'm not giving up, y'all. I'm, I'm not. I am not a quitter. Quitter is not my middle name. It should be, though. Let's do this. Let's do this. Speed running. Oh, look. Wait, why am I not running? 
I thought I was supposed to run with that button. I thought I changed the controls where I ran with that button. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, y'all, like, okay, I'll give myself three more tries. If I don't get in three tries, we're done. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna do it over and over again. Why is that not the run button? I thought that was the run button. Maybe I am running. Maybe I don't even know. It looks like I'm running. Freaking! Okay, okay, here we go. That was try number one. Got two more tries. I dare I even look at how many viewers I have right now. <laughs> I feel like it's going down the drain at this point. It's okay, though. My bookers hasn't. Lame joke, I know. Oh my god, okay. Let's just say that doesn't count. Because that, that, honestly, that didn't count. That didn't count. Tammy, I'm gonna do your chug in a second. Gotta beat this level first. If anyone wants to send any other last minute... Okay, okay, that doesn't count either. If anyone wants to send... Any, wants, oh gosh, I'm slurring. If anyone wants to send any last minute bottle chugs to me, just send me a super chat. I already got one in for Tammy, but if y'all want to get me real messed up at the very end, and then y'all want to do a hangout with me after, <laughs> feel free to send a super chat. Again, nope, you don't have to. It's, it's just fun. <laughs> okay, I am running. Wow, that run is really slow in this game. I get nervous, y'all, and I, like, freak out. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. Totally got this. There's Bowser. Okay. Oh, cruddy! Crow, Dad. I'm just giving y'all all of that bait to, like, tease me with in the future. Okay, see, I wouldn't have normally died if I had my- if I would have gotten the mushroom and I forgot to get the mushroom that time, and that's the whole reason I died, let's be honest. I wouldn't have died otherwise. What the freaking No, that was different! Okay, y'all? Okay, probably because I delayed myself. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Last try, and then I'll do a- I'll do a Tammy's bottle chug, and then I might try again one more time after that. <laughs> I'm determined, y'all. I'm determined. I'm so close. I'm literally at Bowser, and I just can't freaking jump on his- I mean, you're not even supposed to jump on their heads. That's the thing. I'm used to jumping on their head. Oh my god. Okay, okay, this okay. This is for real last time. Let's let's do this. I'm sorry. I'm competitive y'all. I don't even play sports, but I'm competitive This is why we need to be like Perry you and I need to do like a multiplayer game <laughs> I get so competitive like whether it's Super Smash Brothers or oh my freaking gosh Y'all somebody needs to make a compilation of my like fails and my stupid <laughs> my stupid phrases. I know I keep saying it's my last time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so close, y'all. Like, I'm literally at the end. We gotta do this. Okay, here we go. Bam. Bam. Fucking frick. Ah, oh, there, there goes my language. Let's still do it. We can still do it. We can so do this. Oh my gosh. Stop shooting. Oh my gosh! Oh, what the hell? It, like, glitched for a second. Holy crap. Let's jump on his head. Okay, okay can I safe up here? Can I... Oh! Oh. <laughs> I don't know what Paris thing wait what for. <laughs> How amazing it would be for us to do this together. Yeah, it would be Oh, oh gotcha, Fairy. I read your second chat first. Holy crap, guys. That was a lot of fun. Oh, let me How do I stop? That was so much fun. I love doing these gaming streams, and Perry, even though, you know, yours had some issues, <laughs> that sounded like a diss. That wasn't a diss. I, just, I mean, like, actual technical glitches. I want to do this more often. Maybe we can do this, like, a different night and do, like, our gaming streams on Twitch or something, but... All right, time for Perry's... Or, not Perry. Well, Perry. Time for Tammy's bottle chug. If anyone... Again, last chance to get one in. I, I don't want to beg, but... <laughs> um, thank you, again, but everyone that sent a super chat so far, thank you. Um, I don't currently have a Patreon. I've thought about launching one at some point. I'm going to wait until I get the whole branding thing down, whether I go with the Bourbon Bites or I go with something else. Um, so more to come on that. I, I, I do want to have a community mainly for like, um, I am, oh, I'm like jumping all over the place. <sighs> Cheers. But, um, I did join Discord. I'm on the Whiskey Tubers Discord. I don't know the official name of it. It's the one that, um, fans of like I Whiskey She Wines and stuff are on. So, I don't know how to invite you. <laughs> Just telling y'all I'm there. So if y'all want to chat there, I'm on there. Um, cheers to you, Tammy.
Mm. <laughs> Mouthful <laughs> of blueberry muffins. Y'all gotta check out my review on that one. That one was a shocker of my life. It was first impressions. I literally opened the bottle on the stream. I was so taken aback. <laughs> um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. If you missed my video, I posted on, um, I posted, I just thought of something unrelated. Um, <laughs> I posted on, I think it was Tuesday, I did a review of Blood Oath Sit Packed 6. If you missed it, go check it out. Um, that was also a first impressions video. Um, yes, I am, Perry. <laughs> um, Perry's podcast, Perry's, not podcast, Perry's stream was full of holes. Mine was wholly full. I guess we can see that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so check out my Blood Oath Packed 6 review. Um, next week, again, birthday party. If you want to get any calls in, write down this number. You don't have to call right now, but write down the number. Call me. You can text me there, too. Call me or text me. Send me a message. I will play them on the stream. I'm also going to do a hangout. Or not a hangout, but a um, stream yard thing so y'all can... Y'all, I'm drunk. <laughs> going to do a stream yard thing so y'all can call in next week. So look forward to that. Until next time, though, relive your childhood when you can, but also enjoy your adulthood with some bookers and bakers and beam. Hence the name of the video. All right. Cheers, you guys. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.